It is 2.09 a.m. Eastern Time. This is Scorpio News Network, and you're about to hear why the TPP is not a good idea. Explain briefly why the Trans-Pacific Partnership is so significant. The Trans-Pacific Partnership would make it easier for corporations to offshore our jobs. It's based on the NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement, and the Korea Free Trade Agreement. It has the same provisions that give companies who offshore, who relocate their investments, special privileges and protections that make it cheaper and safer to move our jobs to low-wage countries. And TPP includes a lot of low-wage countries, which means our wages will get pushed down when Americans are made to compete, for instance, with workers in Vietnam who are making less than 60 cents an hour. In addition, TPP would open to 9,000 more corporations the right to drag the U.S. government into investor state corporate tribunals. Those are the extrajudicial tribunals where panels of three corporate attorneys would be empowered to rule on a claim brought directly against the U.S. government by a foreign corporation claiming they should get compensation from our tax dollars for any domestic law they think violates their rights under the agreement and they should get paid for their lost future profits for having to meet our laws. In addition, provisions of the TPP, because most of it's not about trade, 29 chapters, only five about trade, chapters would undermine internet freedom. The copyright chapter has pieces of SOPA, the Stop Online Piracy Act in it. The patent chapter would increase medicine prices. It gives big pharmaceutical companies extra monopolies. The financial services chapter would roll back financial regulation. The procurement chapter would undermine Buy America, Buy Local preferences. Basically, the, the services chapter would undermine energy regulation and undermine the policies that we need to combat the climate crisis. Basically, the entire agenda that is necessary for a decent life and livelihood and health of America and the people in the 11 other countries is being rolled back in the name of a trade agreement that really is just a corporate Trojan horse tool negotiated for six years in secrecy. Congressman uh, Alan Grayson, could you explain your opposition to fast track authority and what you're ca calling on your colleagues in, in Congress to do? Well, I agree with everything that Lori just said, but I think there's also a bigger picture to consider. Uh, our free trade, our so-called free trade policies have been a disaster for the United States since NAFTA was enacted. Before NAFTA was enacted and went into effect 20 years ago, we never had any year in our history when we had a trade deficit of $135 billion or more. Every single year since then, for 20 years in a row, our trade deficit has been over $135 billion. Our last 14 trade deficits have been the 14 largest trade deficits, not only in our history, but in the history of the entire world. And the result of that is that we've gone from $2 trillion in surplus with our trade to $11 trillion in debt. And we've lost 5 million manufacturing jobs and roughly 15 million other, and other jobs in the last 20 years. So we've lost twice. We, we've lost the jobs, and we've also gone deeper and deeper into debt. So what's happening is not that we're buying goods and services from foreigners and they're buying an equal amount of goods and services from us. That's the way free trade is supposed to work. What's actually happening is that we're buying our goods and services from foreigners and they are taking the money that we give them from that and buying our assets. That has all sorts of consequences for our economy. First, we lose those jobs. Secondly, it makes American income and wealth more and more unequal. The reason why we have the fourth most unequal distribution of wealth in the world is because of fake trade. The reason why we have a bizarre, at this point, unprecedented quantitative easing policy where the government uses the cash in our pockets to buy up assets and drive those asset prices up further and further is because of fake trade. The reason why we have a federal deficit is because we have a trade deficit. And what happens is the, the TPP fast track, the transatlantic version of TPP, these dramatically increase the amount of countries with whom we have this relationship. They quadruple them, and they put us on a fast track to hell where America is nothing but cheap labor and debt slavery. All right, thank you to Democracy Now! for this story. 
Does that sound like a good idea to you? Because it does not sound like a good idea to me. So call your senators, your state representatives, and tell them to oppose TPP and do it soon. Don't wait. Alright, y'all have a good night. This is Lee, Scorpio News Network.